If you need to build a web app for your startup or for your college project, there's no time to waste, and it shouldn't cost the earth to build one. The first thing you need to focus on is the web layer. Now, I'm not the world's best web development expert, so I'm calling in an expert. Did I mention this is my multi-dimensional transporter? It will help me find the perfect expert to build our web app. The only trick is it has to stay plugged in or, or bad things will happen. Let's see, we need somebody talented with smashing through web apps, talented with templating, and able to jump through hoops to make things work. Let's get the going. Are you gonna help us build the Spring Boot 3 app? To get started, you need to build a new web app with start.spring.io. Perfect. We're good. Pick Spring Boot 3, your favorite build tool in Java 17. Start.spring.io lets you pick all the bits you need, including the dependencies. For a web application, select Spring Web. What about a templating engine? Mustache, of course. Come for the mustache, stay for the de facto standard web stack. With Spring MVC, it's very easy to create a controller to serve mustache templates. Just create a class and annotate it with at controller. We can just create some sample data since we're focused on building the front end right now. We must next create a method that will respond to an HTTP get call and render a template. Luigi, don't you need a model object as an argument for the web method? You are right. To render a mustache template, you only need to create the template itself. Spring Boot will automatically register all the beans needed to render this as HTML5. We just have to create the template inside the folder, Source Main Resources Templates. Mustache makes it real nice to turn data into HTML. You just have to apply your own CSS and JavaScript. That's impressive, Luigi. Even though I'm a plumber, there's no need. Just let Spring Boot do all the plumbing for you. Okay, now what about creating a JSON API? Ah! Someone need a JSON API? Who you think you are, a Bowser? It's JSON, not Jason. Really? Out of my way. To serve up JSON, create a different controller using the at rest controller annotation. Spring Boot automatically puts Jackson on the class path when you use Spring Web. Makes it super simple to smash out some APIs. Now you want to inject the data source using constructor injection. Then you can define all the APIs you want. Do not use field injection. As Oliver Dropbaum once said, Field injection is evil. What about handling post and put operations? Urgh, just use at post mapping or at put mapping annotation and add the data type as an incoming argument. Then you apply the at request body annotation, ensuring the incoming data will get mapped to the argument. After that, you can do whatever you want with the data. And in this corner, we have Smash Bros legend Luigi, who will be using Mock MVC to write a test case verifying a mustache template. And in this corner, we have Jason, the scary dude who decided to enter a family-friendly video, who will be creating a JSON path-based test case to verify the API he just created. It looks like Luigi has taken the lead. He's coding a quick test case using JUnit 5 and Spring Framework's Mock MVC. What's this? Jason is pulling ahead using some quick moves while he lays out some JSON path assertions. He's verifying the structure of the JSON output. It's a Spring Boot power up time. Oh no, it looks like it's all over for Jason. With an Uberjar power up, Luigi has bundled his app with all its dependencies, including embedded Apache Tomcat servlet container. Check out the following video if you want a mega power up in your application development.